The Twilight movies are known for sexy vampires, teen angst, and great music. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. We got the chance to speak with three bands who have appeared on Twilight soundtracks about the experience and about the Twilight phenomenon itself. Now, when you're doing songs for a soundtrack, do you approach it any differently? It's kind of different each time. You know, with Twilight, uh, we had, you know, probably 80% of that song already finished, and so Haley finished, you know, lyrically, she kind of tied in the theme with the movie, and we kind of made it work that way. So I think every movie is different, you know, some artists will write songs specifically, specifically for the movie, but somehow it's worked out with us that our songs just kind of already fit something, so. We've got, we're fortunate in that, so I don't know. I, I don't know if I, I really know the other side of it. Make me halfway. The sun is perched at its highest peak in the middle of the day. So, you guys wrote a song for the Twilight New Moon soundtrack. I was wondering, what do you guys think about the whole phenomenon, about the about the books and the movies? I must confess that I am approaching a point of vampire fatigue that I think maybe a lot of people are approaching. Um, I sort of feel like it's 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 almost time for that to be over. And thankfully, the new movie is going to come out pretty soon, and it you know after that sort of dies away, it will be over. I think for a little while. I don't think anybody will be investing tons of time and energy into vampires in Hollywood for some time after that. But, I mean, it was a really fun thing to be involved in. I mean, the books are great, the movies, I like the movies, like, it was, it was just really fun. We'd never done anything like it before, so. They're all really good soundtracks too. I mean, yeah, totally. if you go through the catalog of Hollywood soundtracks, I, I feel like they're some of the better soundtracks in the last 10 years. Can I wake you up? Can I wake you up? Is it late enough? Is it late enough? You guys had a song on the Twilight soundtrack. Do you want to tell us how that came about and maybe give us an idea of why you felt it was important to get your music out to a new audience in that way. Every time it's coming out, obviously it's a massive deal for the record labels, so they always send songs in. And we we actually just had this demo of the, this was the first song on the new album, um, and they really liked it and wanted to use it. And we had a bit of an internal debate about it. Um, I think, to be honest, our main concern was that we wouldn't be able to use the song on the album, and that was fine in the end. I think at the end of the day we just thought that the the soundtracks had become a different entity to the to the films because we obviously don't have, want to have any affiliation with the films but we felt like there was lots of good music being put on the soundtracks um, and above all else we wanted that to be the first step in trying to come over here more often and that would gain so many new, um, hopefully new fans in, in North America. At the end of the day, people didn't really care. I thought that fans would have a big problem with it, but no one really cared. Mm -hmm.